So in this video, we're going to be creating a procedural generated edgeware in Eevee and we're going to be creating the fundamentals for this. So we're on Eevee, I've got a very plain material here. Now the first thing we need to do is come over into the render properties and make sure we turn on ambient occlusion. Bam! From here, shift A, search, and we're going to type in ambient occlusion. Dump that in there and we will plug that into the base color for now just so we can kind of see it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is shift A, search, and we're going to throw in a color ramp and dump that one in there. Now you might be wondering why I've got these squares above me, that's from the node preview add-on. What I'm going to do is flip these colors around and I'm going to go black to about here and white probably to about there. And you can kind of see how the ambient occlusion works. Awesome. Not what we want. I'm going to click inside on the ambient occlusion node. There we go. You can now already see that edge there. Let's kind of maybe bring that in. Actually, we'll change a linear to ease and I'm going to bring that in. Let's push that black back out. You donkey. Let's change the distance here to 0.05. And you can see how we've got that edge. 0.1, let's go 0.1. And now you can see that we've created that edge. However, if you only came to see that, leave a comment below and next time I'll make this video super short, but I will continue on to make something a little bit more complex. Now let's just move this over. From here, shift A search. I'm gonna type in a math. I'm gonna put in our math node in here. And let's select multiply. Cool bananas. From here, let's go search and we're gonna add in a noise texture because we don't want just straight lines, we kind of want it broken up. From here, let's increase the scale a little bit. Details, we'll make sure we put that all the way up. Let's go search and we'll plug in another color ramp and we'll go factor into the factor. I am going to switch these two around. There we go, so we've got something like that. Plug the color into there and we can see that nothing's really happened. But what I'm gonna do is shift D and duplicate this math node. Let's turn on the clamp and then multiply by five-ish. And you can see that we've got these dots around, but it's not really our edge anymore. Let's come back into our noise and I'm just gonna increase the blackness here. And now we've got our edge and you can see how that's been broken up. Now you can go ahead and add a whole bunch of other materials. Like and subscribe, do it. Now I've got a node group on my Patreon that was created by Felicia Y over on the Fire Pigeon Discord, but make sure you check out her Patreon as well. Link in the descriptions. Check them out, bro.